go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy birthday, Joseph. <laughs> so they were celebrating Joseph's huh? Twelfth birthday. Huh? Big boy already, twelfth birthday, Joe. You like your gift, Jojo? Huh? Just don't uh, target anybody with it, okay? Huh? <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody. It's Monday morning, April 8th, 2019. And say good morning, my co host. Hello, Mia. I mean, Mia. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Mia, you're there. Hello, Eva. Hey, Eva, Eva. Okay. <clears throat> so we are we are um, almost in the home stretch leading up to Holy Week. Okay, this is going to be the last week before Holy Week. Okay, so what is Holy Week again? The week of Good Friday. The week of Good Friday, the week of the Passion and Death of our Lord. Right? Hi, good morning, Father Willie Ong. I mean, good evening, your side of the world already. It's just morning here in the Kleachko household, and we are taking breakfast, but we do gospel commentary after breakfast. So, um, okay, so today we're going to read about uh, St. John, right? Wait a minute, we were asking, okay, what's Holy Week again? And we said that Holy Week is the week of the, the Passion of our Lord, right? Where we're going to go, we're going to relive. We're going to relive the different scenes that uh, that happened in our Lord's life that led to his crucifixion and death. But prior to that week, this week, we're going to be hearing plenty of messages about hope, about what Jesus is all about, and what is going to happen after all the passion and death and resurrection. So we start off this Monday morning with, with St. John, where St. John, uh, which we have been continuing to read from last week, tells us a little bit more about the nature of Jesus Christ, right? about how, how he is the Son of God, the relationship between God the Father and God the Son. Okay? So today, Jesus uh, tells the Jews, Tells them, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. <clears throat> so St. John uh, is, is very profound and, and speaks a lot about the mystery that, that envelopes the, uh, the nature of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, right? And today... Uh, he tells us about this conversation that Jesus had with the Jews, where, the, where Jesus was saying, I am the light of the world. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. What can that mean for us? What would be the practical meaning of this um, words of Jesus? for ourselves you see before jesus came who was jesus who was the revelation of of god and of the trinity and of the father before he came the jews the jewish people were kind of following god in a in in some kind of cloudy version right there was really uh, it, it's like it's like if there was no light in the room if there's no light in the room and you wanted to go from your bedroom to the bathroom and you didn't turn on the light and there was no light, how would you be uh, walking from your bedroom to the bathroom? It would be like groping, right? It would be like guessing. Well, of course, you know more or less this is the hallway. You know more or less where the door is. You know more or less where the bathroom is. But you don't have... Uh, I mean, you're, you're like walking in the dark, right? Because you didn't turn on the light. Well, our Lord says, well, I am the light. So if you turn on that light, you flick that switch, then you're going to have the clarity of your path. You will know exactly where to walk 
and where the bathroom is, right? In the middle of the night. Well, our Lord is telling us something similar. I am the light of the world. So if we have Jesus in our lives, if we follow him, it's like shining a bright flashlight on the pathway of the world and we will know where to go. We will know where our life is headed. We will know where our destination is. And where again is the ultimate destination of our lives? Heaven. In heaven, right? In heaven. And Jesus also says in another passage, I am the way, the truth, and the life. See, I am the way. So he's not only the light of the world. He's not only the light that illumines our path and our life in this world, but he's also the way. He's the one who provides the path. He doesn't only provide the light. He even gives us the road. He even gives us the pathway to go to heaven. And he says, whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So our Lord invites us, follow me, just follow me. Just follow me and you'll get there because I am both the road, I'm both the path and the light. I give you both, right? I give you the pathway and the light to illumine the way to the Father, to heaven. So Jesus says, just follow me. Just follow me. Okay, now how are we going to follow Jesus? What does it mean really for us to be following Jesus? What are we supposed to do? Any ideas? Huh? Well, I have a few ideas. Number one, we have to get to know the life of Jesus very well. Right? Because we cannot follow him if we don't know who he is. So if he says, I am the way, I am the light, then we have to know him very well. We have to get to know Jesus intimately. We have to get to know Jesus very well. And how do we do that? Scriptural reading, very good, right? By reading the gospel, Sophia. By reading, by, by the commentaries that we do here every morning. This is our way of getting to know Jesus very well. Getting to know the life of Jesus very well. How else can we know Jesus better? Besides reading the gospel and doing scriptural reading. Yes, Joe? The catechism. The catechism, yes. Okay? We study the truths of the faith. We study the catechism, which we do every day. Okay? So that's another way. How else? How else can we know Jesus better? You know, a third way is to be meditating on the mysteries of the rosary. Right? We also do that every day. And just yesterday, I was reminding you. Right? What was I reminding you about yesterday before we, I mean, after we prayed the rosary? Huh? You recall? That? <clears throat> that we concentrate better and focus on the mysteries. That we have to be meditating on the mysteries of the rosary, not just repeating the Hail Marys. Right? But we actually try to bear in mind the mystery that we are being reminded about in the rosary. So that is... Another way to get to know Jesus because the rosary is nothing more but a chronicle of the life of Jesus and Mary and Joseph and, you know, how he lived his life on earth. And we meditate. If we meditate on those mysteries, that's another way to get to know Jesus a little bit better. Now, how else can we know Jesus? How else can we be intimate with Jesus and really Follow him as the way, the truth, and the life, and the life, light of the world. How else can we do that? How else? I have another idea. Okay. Well, we, we go and pray in the Blessed Sacrament every day also. Right? Our Lord is there waiting for us in the tabernacle. In every tabernacle of all the churches in the world and all the adoration chapels in the world, our Lord is there waiting for us in the Holy Eucharist. Well, if we, if we pray to our Lord, if we sincerely uh, uh, talk to our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament, then we can get to know our Lord better. 
and we can get to know what He wants us to do in our lives and how He wants us to live our lives. And by getting to know our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament, by talking to our Lord intimately in the Blessed Sacrament, guess what, what, another, what other thing happens? Who is another person we get to know better when we try to talk to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament? Who is another person we get to know better? Huh? Yourself. Yourself, Sophia. That's right. Right? Yourself. If you talk to Jesus intimately in the Blessed Sacrament, you get to know not only more about Jesus, but more about yourself. You know how that happens? Because when you talk to Jesus, He makes you understand what He wants of you. And he, when, when that happens... It helps you to understand more about yourself. Okay? So, let's keep in mind those different ways by which we can be intimate with Jesus. By which we can get to know Jesus better. Because familiarity with Jesus' life, okay, is going to help us to really make Jesus the light of our world. And the way to the Father. Okay. So let's keep these thoughts very much in the back of our minds the whole day today. And as we come closer in approaching Holy Week. Okay. And my co-host is already restless. Say goodbye. Bye-bye, honey. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. We'll see you again tomorrow. Hopefully. Have a good day. Okay. Bye-bye. Happy birthday, Jojo. Thank you. <laughs>